Okay, so I thought I'd uh, do a quick update on the latest run of mycelium experiments. Of the, uh, I did two jars that have straw and uh, coffee grounds, and these were uh, jars were sterilized um, in a pressure cooker, and I put dowels uh, with blue oyster mushroom in it. This one is probably not going to show up on the camera, but I can see uh, contamination, uh, green forest mold, all through this. So it got contaminated. This one, on the other hand, um, has mycelium growing up from where I put all of the, uh, the dowels on top. And it's growing up very quickly and very nice and healthy. So I'll probably get mushrooms out of that one. Because uh, that's big enough to actually grow something. So here is another container of the blue oyster mushroom pieces. Mm good seal <laughs> really good seal there we go oh my so yeah that one is attached <laughs> that one is covered with uh, nice mycelium so this will be ready to put in a growing media soon and uh, I'm in the, the uh, clean room and I sterilized my hands before, with alcohol before I started this, so we're not going to hopefully get any contamination. Here's the uh, toilet paper rolls. And again, I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, but right in here, there's a pretty substantial mycelial growth. Um, of the three put, of the two pieces I put, or three pieces that I put inside. Yeah, three pieces that I put in. That's the only one that I can see uh, mycelium running from. The others don't seem to uh, be doing anything. I actually think these were too dry. I know I've, I've talked a lot about too much moisture is a problem, but I think these, these uh, toilet paper rolls were a little bit too dry, and I may actually open this up and mist it with some uh, distilled sterile water after a bit. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, good mycelial growth here. That should be pretty visible. So that one's doing well. And uh, let's see. There's no signs. This is one of the big uh, king oyster mushroom ones. I suppose I could open it up. This particular container breathes really well. It's got a lot of openings. So. Oops. Well, it's hard to tell. This is the... Uh, myceliated uh, king oyster mushroom myceliated dowels and I don't see oh there's a little bit running it's just starting to run and this is getting a little bit on the dried out side because this particular container breathes really well and it's been warm so I may have to miss that one let's see I was going to miss this one and this one so let's set those aside and then last but not least we have oyster in Oyster mushrooms in the uh, egg carton. And there's no outward visible signs. There's a little, that might be a little green forest mold. It's hard to tell. Wow, that is really sad. One of these is starting to myceliate slightly. And the others are doing nothing. So, nine bits of oyster mushroom and only one of them is slightly myceliating. So that one, and that one in my judgment is maybe a little bit too wet. Um, but we'll give it some time and hopefully it will recover. So one jar of coffee grounds that have been uh, coffee ground soaked straw that got contaminated and everything else seems to be doing well. And these two need to be missed. I think I'll do that in here, but not on camera. So that's the update for today.